Hello and hi to all the viewers of our channel. We are glad to take this video here for you after long videos that we had in the channel. So this is a very important topic from the point of view of bill of quantity or from the point of view of the construction documents and quantity takeoffs in Revit. So all of you guys who are into architecture and basically working have started working in building information modeling this particular video will help you in order to get the takeoff for the furnitures or furniture category equipments that is placed in your project now let's begin and see how you can extract those information from the Revit model so here in this project you can see there are certain furnitures specifically the chairs the cabinets and the uh, workstations that are placed and mainly these furnitures are of furniture categories as such if you have to want to have a furniture schedule so the components that are placed should be of the furniture categories that's very important number one now let's see how to start with the schedule so you go to the view tab and under the view tab you can see there's a drop down over here and which says schedule and quantities and under the schedule and quantities, you can see that there are various filters over here. So I go with the architecture filter and I can search here with the furniture. Let's say I wanted to have a schedule for the furniture. And there are two options over here, furniture systems and the furniture category. So I take the furniture schedule and choose OK. Now here in the schedule properties dialog box, I have, have various tabs. The fields tabs is used. The option is used to select the different fields that I can take it from the model. For example, the name or the type of the furniture, then the count of the furniture, the assembly description of the furniture, if the cost is there in the furniture, and manufacturer of the furniture, the level in which it is hosted, and let's say I wanted to have the last but not least I can have an image but I'm not putting it right now I can have the description of the furniture so here what I can do is I can basically go and change the order let's say I wanted to have the type first then have the assembly description and then I want to have the manufacturer I want can have the cost and I want to move the level up so that all the levels can be grouped together and the count at the bottom in the filter, I can filter basically, let's say I can filter a particular type of furniture. Let's say if I wanted to have only the type equal to 1850. So this is the furniture type. So right now I'm not using any filter and then sorting and grouping. I want to sort it by type. There's a blank space, blank line. I want it to have a header. And then I want to itemize every instance. For formatting for the count, I wanted to have the total. So I have the count, the total count. I can change the heading like the count, the furniture quantity. And then in the appearance, I can have different colors with the grid lines, not the colors. In fact, I can have strip rows. I can have the color of the strip rows, a different color. So these are the options for the furnitures and let's say how the schedule is created. Now you can see the schedule is created. So there are various, this all are in the ground floor. Let's say I wanted to have the total count of the furniture. So this is the ground floor, there is a bookshelf. There are, so I wanted to have the count. So I go to the count option, I say this is the totals. But here there is an option in the grouping. I can see that there's an option of grand totals. So I take the grand total, move it there, and I can see the grand total over here. So, so you can see that furniture count is also right now, total is 49. And here in the formatting for the furniture quantity in the count, right? So there is a calculate totals okay so this is how you can basically create a furniture schedule for your project and now let's say let's say if I 
go with the itemize every instances I remove this you can see that the total count will be given for each of the type over here so hope this particular video will help you in order to create furnitures for schedules for your future projects thank you keep watching our videos and subscribe to our channel then technologies for more videos in Revit for architecture specifically for building information modeling. Thank you.